Hi, I'm Dr. Arnold Fonoliera, and we will be discussing the body functions. Body functions is one of the emergent properties of living things or humans that distinguishes them from non-living things. These are the physiological or psychological functions of the body that emanates from its cell's function. So we, we know that each cell has its own function that distinguishes, distinguishes it from other cells. But collectively, when several cells collectively perform a, co a collective function, it gives rise to a more complex function characteristic of a particular tissue or a particular organ and eventually a particular system. The overall objective of this body function is to enable the human, the human body to survive in an ever-changing environment. And in order to achieve this, homeostasis has to be maintained. In the previous topic of homeostasis, homeostasis is the dynamic state of equilibrium that ex exists in the internal environment of the body wherein the body, the internal environment uh, often makes adjustments that uh, resulting from changes that happens because of different factors such as environmental factors or intakes of the human body that brings about these changes that if it is allowed to go out of control it might lead to injury or even death and so therefore uh, a certain set set point has to be maintained has to be maintained and whenever variables exceed exceed or go beyond those set points a mechanism will be triggered that will set off a chain of events that will lead to that variable returning within the normal range of the set point and we have already learned this in the past as the negative and the positive feedback mechanisms there are there were two uh, renowned scientist, one who is Claude Bernard, a French physiologist, and the American physiologist Walter Cannon, who contributed much to the concept of milieu interior or the internal environment and homeostasis. In general, the body performs in its function least well at both ends of life. So, it may not be functioning at its uh, best during infancy as well as the body functions likewise declines in old age. In terms of reaching its peak, much of the peak uh, capacity or ability of the body to function can be observed in the young adult stage of life. Another emergent property that humans or living things possess are its life processes. The li life processes are uh, characteristics or properties that all living organisms possess that dis distinguishes them from non-living forms. There are several basic processes of life all of them are interrelated and uh, previously there were seven life processes that were initially identified but eventually they expanded into a more comprehensive um, co more comprehensive number as much as reaching 10 life processes 
and the original seven life processes are namely as follows movement respiration sensitivity growth reproduction excretion and nutrition in addition organization metabolism and differentiation were added to the life processes uh, in human beings and organization is one um, characteristic wherein all living things or all humans that belongs to a one species exhibit an organization that makes it very distinct from other species a metabolism which is uh, a, a recent a more recent discovery compared to the other original seven life processes are due to the chemical reactions that were discovered to have been occurring inside the body in order to achieve or in order to maintain a stable internal environment and address to the needs of the individual or the human body and differentiation also is another life process that is distinct from non-living things because from a single cell that cell as it multiplies do not multiply identically because at a certain point at a certain point in its life cycle these cells begin to take on a different form and in so doing bring gives rise to the formation of different tissues and different organs and eventually different systems of the body so when all these functions are all together it is often in fine-tuned state resulting to balance for the well-being of the individual and to maintain life Diseases, diseases such as cancer and death represent a disruption of the balance in these processes.